Yeah, hello, wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers. Um, let me come back home. Hmm? To a bunny state. We all saw what happened yesterday. And the carnage, the death, the reign of terror that happened in a bunny state. And the governor of the state had the God to say after giving some kind of conducive environment, protection for these people called Fulani Hedgemen. They are now killing black people. We could not watch. <laughs> Helps me that uh, came uh, yesterday and uh, killed 15 of members of these communities. I remember that about a year ago we had an incident of uh, killing of uh, two Helps men uh, within this same location. And immediately the security agencies, local government members, and the community leaders all came together to condemn the attack and the killing. And uh, we immediately asked the security agencies to fish out the uh, people that did that. They didn't do it on behalf of the communities. And they did fish them out. And uh, as we talked, they are standing trial in the Bonnie State. And uh, the community and the, the government and security agencies appeased the uh, henchmen uh, and uh, made peace with them. And so it is very shocking that overnight all the henchmen uh, in uh, Ishelu local government targeted Ishelu local government, which means that the local henchmen are part of the conspiracy of the killing of our people. They vacated despite all the efforts that uh, my government, governors of Southeast, and security agencies have been making to give them full protection, uh, not only in the Boeing State but the entire Southeast. We feel so sad that this kind of thing should happen to a Boeing State. We feel so worried for our country, Nigeria. We, 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 we are short of words and uh, uh, good enough we have some traces of uh, the sponsors we have traces of those who came here uh, i will not disclose it but i'm going to escalate in fact i couldn't wait i can't, I can't just continue watching that complete rubbish in the name of statement by a governor now match him with the governor of Bedway state my brother that is not how to run government. The Constitution gives power to our uh, governors in all the states to preside over the land of their state on behalf of the people. And they are the only people who can give allocation or permit people to stay where they are. And so bandits cannot find a forest and come in to hide under living that forest. I want to tell those terrorists full animal they should not come to Benway State. They should go to Bauchi and stay with him. Benway State is governed by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Benway State also have laws guiding them. So anybody once you're a Fulani man, you come with legitimate papers, you are free to stay in Benue State and do business according to the laws of our land. Anyone who is not willing to respect the laws of our land should go and meet Bala Muhammad. And then there you can carry AK-47 and you will not be apprehended. There when you come, we apprehend you. Then you will now see the difference and understand the difference between a coward and a brave person. Coward and bravery that is the perfect definition of these two governors do you think they don't know what they are supposed to do 
No, they know. We have been saying it, but they don't want to do it because of 2023. The carrot of Yubo presidency rubbish that will never happen. That is why they are sacrificing their people on the altar. They don't want to back. You see, you heard him say, talk about the whole of. So he's speaking on behalf of the entire governors of the Southeast. Because the same thing applies. They don't want to set up regional security. They don't want to set, make a law to ban open grazing. Never. They don't want to do that. Because their masters, the caliphates, don't, don't, you don't even mention it. Because they are trying to outdo each other. Or who is the best slave that will emerge as Yubo president? That rubbish. Tell me to come. If the lives of your people doesn't matter, it matters to me. Because that is the primary responsibility of every government. To protect lives and property. Oh my. To protect lives and property is the primary assignment. It is part of the, the oath you swore. You swore to protect the lives of your people. Come and make laws, ordinary law, put down ranching. It will help everybody, both the people that are headers and also the farmers, and create more jobs for the youth. No, you don't want to do it. No, how can your youth get jobs? How can your youth be innovative and have greater opportunity through agricultural activities? No, they don't want to do that because they are in that useless. Uh, oh God, 2023 with presidential rubbish. Now, they are just coming to make a rubbish statement. You think we are fools. We are not fools. Let me talk about me. The voice of our ancestors, I am speaking as inspired. If you don't like, me could I get sense. That governorship you are you are that governorship office you are occupying today, not be your papa property. Tomorrow you may not become no, you will certainly not be a governor. You are not going to be there forever. But your works will live after you. What have you done? What is your mark? I say, Governor. The whole of the Southeast, I mean, to come. I don't care. I don't care if you come after my life. My life is not in your hands. You can do me nothing. Stand before me, I will tell you this. All of you, the five governors of you are a big disappointment. As it is happening in a boy state, it has been happening here. I was there at Ozo One myself. I witnessed it with my I was there. Our governor of Enugu State was just busy crying and mourning more than the widows. What a shame. When at this stage, the people are looking up to you for leadership. Bunch of cowards. Now the people will not see him. When we tell you to join the movement that will get the best of us in government to champion our aspiration, when I go say you will not get interest, continue doing buying and selling. Let them continue selling your future. I think I've said too much. I'm signing out. If you don't like, make una get sense. Make una, I mean the people, make una reason properly. Make una live above una fear. Make una come out. It is the game of numbers. Let us all come out to the ballot. Kamfo, Kamalo, Kamalo is a cool dene, more Let's see how they can continue occupying those political offices where they are there making our lives and making the mess of our lives. Making us look like the, the most useless set of people in the face of the planet. Where we have a bunch of brave, smart people. Oh God, we can't have, we can't have these crops as our leaders. I'm signing out. This is how I deliver the message. I believe. Share this video. Let this video. I'm sending this video to all the five governors of the Southeast. So keep sharing it. I know certainly the one of Anambra State will receive it because they are always watching. And the one of other states, all your, 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 your commissioners, they are on the, within the same. They are, they are still here. Hmm? Oh my. Make your people. I know some people that will send it to you. You get this message. Let me talk up. When the people are fully ready. When they have been able to be freed from their mental slavery, from their from the shackles of fear, hunger, and poverty, hey, when a time up, we'll finally arrive. I'm signing out. My people, share this video. It's very important. Let them get this message. If you're new on this platform, subscribe, like, and share. All right. 
keep moving out to make sure that our land is a better place and our lives are properly secured. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. Follow us on our social media platform, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, just subscribe, follow us there, download our app, and you can go for our news updates on our website, bvichannel1.com. Bye-bye, my people. I think I'm exhausted. I've delivered the message. Please share it. Bye-bye.